So why is this new video dropped? Like an hour ago. I watched it. Well, I mean, two and a half hours ago now. I watched it. And, uh, I don't know. Like, some of the, some of the smaller details, I have disagreements with. Um, some of the fire points, I'm kind of like, eh, mm, you know, but now I'm questioning everything, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, uh, I, I, I'm taking it as an opportunity to re-examine those perspectives, right? I think that's pretty fair. Some things don't age well with time, and that has become a thing that has become increasingly in my mind is how things age and uh, you know danger and eggs thing that that didn't age very well for me you know what I mean you know uh, somebody else said the video that I'd made like a month ago aged pretty well and I'm like okay There's not really a whole lot of age there but whatever and uh, I had commented that the video, uh, the song "Vicarious" by Tool, aged pretty well. Um, I honestly think that if it was released now, it would actually have a hell of a lot more impact than it did back then. But um, yeah, how things age—that's the thing that I think we should take into consideration when we when we say what we say. That's why I like to hope that I'm on the right side of history. You know what I mean? Like, when it, when it all comes down to it. But, I don't know. There's, there's broader implications to be had. Um, I, I, I would go as far as to say that a general theme of the video was radicalization. And... It got me kind of thinking, you know, the kids of the time go with what the kids of the time go with. You know, I've got a whole thing full of magic cards over here, because magic cards were huge when I was a kid. And I've got a shit ton of magic cards. And, like, I've got old toys and shit like that, because Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were super cool at the time. And I, my parents gave me my giant tote of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which just sits in the fucking closet. Because <laughs> I don't play with them. You know? So it's like, you know, I'm, I'm looking at all these things, or I'm thinking about all these things. And, uh, you know, what's what what would possibly be the, tre you know, the fad going on right now with high school kids? And I'm thinking to myself... Probably YouTube. And it's like, well, what what ultimately is the game then being played? And it's like, SJWs versus the Nazis. <laughs> and I'm like, ugh. And I mean, I'm saying Nazis is kind of a fucking general term, I guess. I guess I should be more specific with that. I just don't know exactly how to be. Maybe those that everybody perceives as Nazis, those... I mean, you gotta figure, what are we calling an SJW exactly? You know what I mean? What's, what's the definition of the terms? Who are the sides exactly? And you gotta figure that the SJWs are the people that everybody kind of refers to as SJWs. The social justice people, you know what I mean? And that's their audience. They're the people that fit into those groups. And then you have the Nazis being anybody that anybody calls a Nazi. And that's fucking everybody. I mean, very much like the other side. Everybody's a fucking SJW, too. And, and the, the terms are interchangeable. I've been called both multiple times. So it's like, you know what I mean? And, I don't know, it's, it's, it's weird 
when you uh, kind of take that into consideration that it's not cops and robbers. It's SJWs versus the Nazis. It's like... <laughs> God damn it. It's the alt-right and the leftists. You know, that's what that's the that's the game the adults are playing. The alt right versus the leftists. And it's like, you know, at least at least there you're gonna have a middle ground that's gonna be far more populated than in high schools. Cause who who sat outside of the fucking trends? The people nobody hung out with, nobody talked to. They're already gonna be radicalized in their own little fucking crazy ways. So it's like <laughs> And that's why we're seeing videos of kids, you know, getting their fucking MAGA hats knocked off their heads. Getting punched. Because in that school, those kids have picked sides. The one kid's a Nazi, because he's wearing a MAGA hat. And the other kid's an SJW, because he's punching the kid in the MAGA hat. Right? Thus, the battle lines have been drawn. So, you know, it is it is it is something to think about. And again, it's why I do a lot more news, but the news is all Nazis versus SJWs. <laughs> you know, and I'm like I'm trying to target the, the center group. But everybody's telling me I'm a Nazi. And an SJW. Maybe that's how I know. Maybe that's how I know that I'm doing it right. I'm getting called both. I don't know. I just fucking calls it like I sees it. But, eh, I don't know. It's interesting with Watts. Because, like, I mean, I love the guy so much. I really, really do. I really respect him a lot. So I'm willing to give him an hour and a half of my time once a month or whatever. I'm more than happy to do that. I love his perspective. He always makes me think. It is the one thing that I can say that Wazley, I haven't always agreed with him, haven't always particularly appreciated the video, and a lot of the times, you know, I've absolutely loved it, thought it was fantastic and utterly spot on. No matter what, he's always made me think about things. And this did not disappoint. And so I've, I've always been a big fan of the guy. And... Uh, I had occasion to actually talk with the guy. Like, he he tweeted out a clip of one of my videos. Thought it was funny. And I was like, ah, cool. Why is like my video? And he kind of, sort of, did a response video to me, kind of. But not really naming me. But showing a clip of my video. My, my t-shirt and hat was in his video. Eh? And uh, whatever the fuck I had in the background at this time, I don't even know. Probably Jesse's in it. Probably can see more of Jesse than me. But, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and I wound up, you know, DMing with him a couple of times. And he kind of uh, enlisted my help to work on a project, which I don't know, think is ever going to happen now. <laughs> so, he seems to have bigger fish to fry. Um... But, yeah, so, you know, that was, it was kind of cool, and, you know, as a fan, you know, talking to the guy that I really kind of respect, and that always makes me think, you know, it's, it's kind of like, it's weird, because I'm sitting there thinking, fuck, what does he think about me now? Because I'm like, I'm just, I'm really wondering where his head's at with my content. Am I part of the problem as far as he's concerned? Not not exactly because, you know, I, I want to be like, ah, oh, then fuck him, you know, or anything like that. No. It's because I would love to hear his critique. You know what I mean? Because I guarantee you, it'll make me think. You know? So, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not, like, I'm not pleading for a content cop or some shit like that. I, I just, you know, I'm just curious. I'm curious. Because... Like from the the from the two videos that he's made so far, I 
with the first video, I was rolling. I, I thought it was fantastic. I was laughing my ass off. He was digging on Sargon, and I'm like, oh, dude, he's got you. You know, like, ah. And it was like, you know, I don't know. It, it, was, it was kind of nostalgic in many ways. And it made me think, you know. And then he follows up with this, which was very in line, I believe, with um, the first video. But it was just a different angle of the same problem. And it made me think. And, uh, you know, th but there were things in it that I was kind of like, mm. And, you know, I don't, I don't know exactly how to think about that. Which, you know, it was kind of things where I'm like, mm, that makes me wonder what he thinks of me. And then there were so many other things where I'm like, oh, yeah, I totally agree with that. That it was kind of like, maybe, I don't know. So, I don't know. I might be in, in, in the center even more than was or else I'm more right than was uh, which I probably am but uh, I, I don't know it's just interesting it's very interesting to watch like this is very interesting to me like the psychology of it is very interesting because <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to figure out what's going on with was because he's a crafty motherfucker I haven't talked to him a lot but what I've talked to him uh, he's a crafty motherfucker what I've seen of him, he's a crafty motherfucker. I don't know what he's doing, exactly. But I know what he's doing. And uh, <laughs> and it's certainly fucking entertaining as hell to watch, I will say that. The, the comment section was, oh, it was, mwah, it was beautiful. Some of the comments were hysterical. Um, like... It was all funny in like a, oh my god, like this is not really not that funny. Because it was just like, you know, it was predictable and basic. And it was exactly what he said was going to happen at the end of the video. And that's what made me giggle. <laughs> I had to tell somebody that their comment actually made me giggle. And I'm just like, because I'm like, yeah, I know. It was a comment of somebody that was like fiercely defending Waz. And I'm sitting there reading the comment going, I don't think he would appreciate this either. <laughs> like, I don't think he's really targeting you either. So I don't know exactly how far he's going to take this sort of thing. But, you know, so I don't know. But as far as the Iden Paladin video, holy shit. What in the fuckity fuck? Like... I guess that's the part of the reason why I don't watch her. I've never watched an Iden Paladin video before. And after watching that, I'm kind of like, hmm, boy, I don't know. Because, you know, I like to subscribe to people that I like to fuck with. So, I don't know. We might we might check her out at some point. Because, holy shit, what in the fuck was that? That was a nightmare. So, yeah. I don't know, uh, but yeah, certainly made me think. There was thinking going on. And there's still thinking going on. I like, I like it. I like what's going on. Waz is challenging me. Oh, Waz. <laughs> I don't know, Mike. I just love the dude to death. He can do no wrong to me, no matter which way he goes. What do you want from me? I'm a fan. But yeah. Go ahead and tell me what a cuck I am. <laughs> uh, fuck it, I don't give a shit. Now, I'm probably going to get a lot of... I, I'm probably going to get some of that. But I'm also... Um, probably going to get a lot of... Uh, people pointing out the things that I'm going to go, yeah, that's one of the things I had a problem with. You know what I mean? Like... But I, 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 I'm, I'm ignoring those things for now to uh, look at the broader issue because I don't like he hasn't really made a video yet that I would call manageable doing a response to an hour and a half worth of video will be the death of me. 
So, <laughs> the editing alone, the editing alone for that would take two and a half hours, easily. Uh, so, you know, maybe, maybe sometime in the future he will do a more manageable video where he directly goes into one of those things, and then I'll be happy to talk about it. But I'm not going to, like, try and pick those parts out because it loses a lot of context. And I'm not going to review an hour and 20 minute video where I'm going to go, most of the time I'm going to go, all that shit, I agree with that. And then fucking we're going to roll. No, I'm not. No. That'd just be a fucking, that would just be a nightmare. But, yeah, I'm probably going to get a lot of that. I'm probably going to get a lot of shit. And, and I'm probably going to get some people going, huh, who's was? <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. But... Check out Waz's new video. I, I thought it was fantastic. It made me think. It made me at some points go, mm. but it at some other points made me think. So, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see what the future holds. He said he might make more videos more often. And I was like, twice a month? Cool. <laughs> I'll take it, whatever. Man, it was great. It was it was cool to see it pop up on my phone. Saw the notification. I have the bell rung. Saw the there's two channels on YouTube, as far as I am aware. There are two channels on YouTube that I have the bell rung on. It's Wazley and Susan Wojcicki. And now Susan releases essentially a video version of the email, so I no longer fucking care anymore. If she's not going to take it seriously, I'm not going to take it seriously. So I'm honestly thinking about unbelling Susan because she bores me. So, yeah. Like, we get a newsletter every month from YouTube telling us all the YouTube stuff. And then it gives a fucking advertisement for Susan's new video, which is coming out this month because it's the newsletter month. And she essentially reads the newsletter. Like, it's so corporate and... Ugh. That I, I just, I, I don't even, that's why I haven't bothered to do it. I, I believe I made a pledge at one point that every time Susan made a video, I was going to review it. And I think the four or five have probably slipped by me and I don't give a shit. No, I don't care. But yeah, two channels that I have the bell rung for. Two channels I am notified immediately when the fucking video drops. Fucking Wazley. There you go. But for all the people who who want to know, who are you the fanboy of? Wasley. What do you want from me? Love the guy to death. <laughs>